This guy has a bunch of AI projects that are making money on autopilot. Now he's able to use his free time for passion projects like this web-based flight simulator that is now making $53,000. He, he can't, can't keep getting, getting away with it. People look at this and they think it is that easy. You just make stuff and you get money. Well, I thought so as well. I did a bunch of side projects. Most of them failed. Some of them did okay, like the freelancing thing, which I know is not a sign project, but my Figma plugin did okay. Levels.io himself built 70 projects and only 5% of them actually made any money. The ones that are making money are photo AI and interior AI. AI. Hmm. AI. In today's video, I will be spending the next three weeks learning about AI, <laughs> surprise. And by the end of the video, hopefully I will be deploying an AI project. But first of all, we need an idea. Uh, this meme is unrelated. I just thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> there are many types of AIs. There are chatbots, there's image video generators, there's voice things going on. There's actual humanoid robots. There's basically an infinite amount of AI stuff going on, but there's one big problem, actually getting the customers for your AI, whatever. <laughs> but I have a super duper idea of how to hopefully convince them. Many of you probably know that I sell 3D characters as a little side hustle. And these last couple of months, my income has slowly declined because of 3D generative AI and 2D image generator stuff. Many of you would say, call the ambulance, give up. But don't call the ambulance for me. Because I realized, why can't it be me? The one that is generating the 3D AI characters and the 3D AI image thingies. So yeah, that is kinda the idea. It's probably gonna evolve as this video keeps going. But this is the little presentation of how it would kinda work. You put in text description of the character or a image, and then we'll show you a T-pose of that character that you want. And then we'll generate 20 plus default custom consistent poses of that exact character. And then you're able to have a few that are custom, like the guy in the gym or whatever. You basically be able to customize it, keeping the character consistent. So it's kind of like an actual 3D file that you can kind of do whatever you want with. But there's no point of having an idea if you don't have a marketing plan to back it up. If a tree falls down, would you, what, what, what did you hear? You know the saying, you know what's going on. <laughs> Basically, one of my marketing plan ideas is to advertise on my own places. By that, I mean the places I already have people looking for 3D characters. I'll just simply add a link that says, check out mascot.now to generate a mascot. Yeah, I will do the same thing in my Figma plugin where I'll just say, want custom illustrations? Go to blah, blah, blah. It's not a good marketing strategy, but at least it's something. Because <laughs> my second idea on how to advertise is to just go to the places where these designers and front-end developers are hanging out. So like Dribble, UI8, Behance, and a bunch of more stuff. And do the same thing that I did with my Figma plugin, where I'll just give away a bunch of free illustrations. And I will tell them, if you want your own mascot, go to mascot.now. That's actually a good slogan. And I already have the domain names. I wanted to go with character.now, but uh, it was too expensive. So I settled with mascot.now. I think that is a pretty good name as well. The marketing strategy is also hopefully gonna evolve. This is like the initial idea. <laughs> the tech, doing the actual coding, aka cursoring, aka prompting. I basically spent like three weeks learning about generative AI and comfy UI. It's one of those things that on the surface looks very simple and you can kind of get to use them because you can import workflows and stuff. But as soon as you want to customize and do something different, it's uh, very hard and you have to really understand what you're doing. I will be making like a full video on my second channel. So if you're interested, do subscribe to my second channel. It's gonna be linked below. But basically the version one of the website is going to be a simple landing page because I am not sure what the demand is for a 
AI mascot generator. I'm not sure if people are interested in such a thing. So the initial idea is to use a text, text stack like Next.js and VO, which is basically Shatsian, to generate a simple landing page. I uploaded it, this ugly thing to VO and it gave me as a first version, something like this. And if you look at the before and after, I think uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> I basically kept prompting it for like 24 times until I landed on this as my final version. Your brand mascot in just one hour. AI powered consistent mascot generator and you have all the poses and all the custom things that they can choose. Then there's the art process section where it tells your idea, pick a style, confirm base design, and then they get their final thing ready. And a very simple pricing of $49.99. So far, the process is gonna be very manual. I'll just do everything myself on my own local computer. But as soon as I see a good demand, I'm gonna automate this and I'm gonna lower the prices. And to create everything that I just showed would be like two hours of GPU compute. It costs around 25 cents to rent a GPU an hour, so $1 per character in basic GPU costs. Okay, that was a lot of information. Let's now simply summarize my last three weeks into simple steps. Step one was that I got an idea for an AI project. <laughs> Step two was that I thought of the marketing plan before I did anything else. I made sure that I will be able to advertise this very easily. Step three, I started to learn the tech of image generation. Uh, some people skip this step. They go straight to step four, which is building the landing page and trying to get the actual customers. Everything has its pros and cons. I personally think learning the tech was one fun. I just wanted to kind of do that. And second of all, I learned a lot about the tech and that really changed how I go about doing the actual project, AI project itself, because I learned, oh, I can do this, I can do that. That kind of gave me new ideas of how to do the actual project. So yeah, those are the four steps. Uh, so far, no cigar, I don't have any customers, but I will be spending the next three weeks doing all the marketing, doing all the blah, blah, blah stuff. And hopefully you can click right here now to see the update video. <laughs> Uh, but if there's no update right now, you can, YouTube's going to recommend something else. And also here you can find my second channel if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching.